G'day guys, we've got an exam question here that involves integration. The question says, we've got the area bound by the parabola y equals 6x squared minus 6x, the x-axis and the line x equals 1 and x equals c, with c being greater than 1, is equal to 1 unit squared. Find the value of the constant. Alright, so let's see what they're asking. What we've got here is I've drawn... The question just came like this. Now, I've drawn this graph here to make it easier for us all to understand. So we've got the area bound by the parabola 6x squared minus 6x, which is what is drawn here. We've got the line x equals 1. Now, let's draw that in. So that's about there. And then we've got this x equals c, with c being greater than 1. So basically, we've got this another line, which is down here somewhere. We don't really know. Well, we don't know. That's what they're asking us to find. And then we've got a area that's bound between that, the x-axis, and these two lines. So in this diagram, it's going to be that area there that's equal to 1 unit squared. Now... What we've got to do is we've got to figure out what this value here is. We've got this x equals c value. Now, so let's go about trying to do this. First of all, we're going to have to, to work out the area bound by this shape, we're going to have to take the integral. So let's start with that. So how is this going to work for us? Well, we know that 1 has to be equal to the integral from 1 to, we don't know, let's call it c, of this function here, y equals 6x squared minus 6x dx. Now that's a relatively straightforward integral to take. We've got a c here, we've got a 1 here, and that's going to be equal to 1. So if we take the integral of this, the definite integral, this is going to be equal to 1 equals, now definite integral, we use square brackets, raise the power by 1, divide it by the coefficient, 3, so it's going to be 2x cubed, subtract, squared, divided by 2 is 3, x squared, and that has to be evaluated between 1 and C. All right. So I'm not going to go through the actual mechanics of this integration that I've done. Um, you can have a look at any one of my other videos on that. But, uh, yeah, once we've got to here, it's relatively straightforward. The only sort of curveball to this question is this C thing here. But basically what we're going to do is we're just going to set up an equation and solve for C. So if we take this definite integral, we have 1 is equal to, sub in the value of c into our integral, so it's going to be 2c cubed minus 3c squared, subtract 2 times 1 cubed, or 2, minus 3 times 1 squared, 3. So what we're left with is we're left with 1 equals this minus minus 1. So it's going to be plus 1. So we're going to have 1 is equal to 2c cubed minus 3c squared plus 1. Now if we take the 1 over to the side, we're going to be taking 1 from both sides, and we're going to be left with a 0 equals 2c cubed minus 3c squared. And here what we're going to do is we're going to factorise the right-hand side so we can use the null factor law. So, like, maths that you learnt when you were 14 or 13 is coming back to haunt you. So when we factorise this, this is going to be 0 is equal to c squared outside of 
2c minus 3. And what we can get from this is that either c is equal to 0, but as you can see, that doesn't fit in with our um, condition here that c has to be greater than 1. So that's not going to work. Or 2c take 3 has to equal 0. So what we do now is we can just rearrange this and we have a value of c is equal to 3 over 2. Now that falls within our condition. So we can see that for this integral, for the value of the area bound by these or these four parameters, x axis, x equals c, x equals 1, and y equals 6x squared minus 6x, for that area to be equal to 1, the value of c has to be equal to 3 over 2, or 1 and a half. So, there it is, that's the answer. So I guess with a problem like this in an exam, what you've got to not do, because it's not very complicated, it's worth four marks, you should be able to chew through it pretty easily. The complicated part is in an exam situation when you've got all the pressures and stuff like that, is seeing this C value here where you're not given it and having to put it into an integral and not getting flustered. Because a lot of kids would see this and immediately go, oh, I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. But you can see if you just put it into the interval, interval into the integral and follow the steps through, you, it's not a very complicated piece of algebra that you can come through and get the end result of 1.5. And that is not going to be very hard to pick up the four marks from. In an exam, if you're not flustered, this should be almost guaranteed four marks. So... I hope this little uh, tutorial on this question helped. Um, if you have any other exam questions, we're coming to exam season right now. If you have any problems with any of your exam problems that you're working on, uh, send them to us, let us know, and I'll um, be happy to work through them. Okay, I'll uh, thanks for watching this video. If you like it, chuck it a thumbs up, subscribe or whatever, and I'll see you again next time.